So let's back up to old item number three, which is our heat. No, I won't do it because we might we might decide to switch it after we talk about it a little bit. We might want to shift into the executive session talk a little more about it because it's part of the executive session. Mm -hmm. All right, that's why I put it together. Sorry, I just thought of that. All right, so we have a job description for the DPW director who's retiring for the new one. Does anybody have any comments, concerns? Do you want to talk about how we want to do this? I think the, the process is the important thing. I think it might be worth having a discussion. I mean, I um, recall the process before and, and how this job description was, was developed, right? But um, sometimes it's good to put the job description in the context of recent experience. Mm -hmm. So, um, for example, with the schools, you know, we, we had an existing superintendent's contract, but then we looked at what was working, what didn't seem to be working, and, and changed some of those provisions. Um, I'm wondering if there's some things in the description now that we should readdress. For example, um, geography, you know, with the... There actually isn't a, this isn't a requirement, is there? No. There is no requirement for it. No. Something similar to the police chief, just so many miles away or move into town. A lot of towns and cities are doing that mm -hmm. for school superintendents, for highway DPW superintendents. We have a 15 mile radius I think we put into the job description for the yeah. police chief. I mean I Is think the DPW was? director really it's another, it's a command position. If there's an emergency you want that person here. Right. Right Gilbert? <laughs> oh. Then again he might just delegate it to the superintendent. Well, Brian, you and I sure. were you and I were here at the last one and, for the job uh, description. For the job description, and mm -hmm. um, well, for, actually for the final final three that were presented to us. So um, at that point in time, we had no problem with that. But uh, yeah, you did a great job. Mm -hmm. All right. So <coughs> when you're well, where were you? Let's so, not throw stones, whoa, 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 whoa. John. So we want to put a 15 mile residency requirement. Okay. I didn't no. see you in the audience at any of the interviews. Thank you. That's why I'm sitting track. here now. Okay. Oh, good luck so, getting hey, a civil engineer. All right. Engineer. All right. I, good luck like getting a civil engineer. <coughs> yeah. Well, you know, yeah. things have changed. You know, <laughs> when you guys first, when we first advertised for this position. The job market was a lot tighter. Right. Um, now it's a little looser. There's not that many jobs. There's people looking for jobs. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting people where I work who have engineering degrees applying to be the lab technicians in my wastewater treatment plant because mm -hmm. there's no real jobs. They're hoping to get in their foot in right. the door and then go from there. So I think there's a little bit of a difference in the hiring market right now, in the hiring environment. Um, so, if, so if we make it a 15 mile radius, I'm fine with that. Yeah, 15. I mean, I could even theoretically see going as far as 20, but I yeah, but 20 15. puts you to Greenfield and Springfield. Exactly. That's more than enough yeah. area. And if there's an emergency and there may be weather related, and then you're not going to get in. So, well, I think 15, 15 seems reasonable. I think yeah, 15 is reasonable. We we kept it that way. It's not in here. No, right. I mean, we kept it. Right. Oh, okay. For the police chief. For police. Yeah. yeah. So could we add that? Or fire, too, we did. I don't see it. If we're in agreement, we can add it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Do so we want to change the PE to a required versus preferred or leave it preferred for now? What's that? Your professional engineer requirement. And the special requirements on page three, um, certified licensed professional engineer, Massachusetts preferred. I think it should be required personally, but if you feel that it's that's not necessary, well, I, we can make it required. But there's two parts of that. You can the five-year budget projection that you got in front of you. You're going to have to make an adjustment to the number because you're not getting you're not getting an engineer 
at that salary. We don't know that. We don't know that. Okay. So, and the other thing about the, the if we do make this required, we should also put in a uh, stipulation for um, a time period to get it in case they're in another state and they move into, they're moving into this area. Or, I mean, or, or ability in. to obtain yeah. licensure yes. within six, six months. months. Yeah. It takes a little while to get your license if you, if you get some who comes in from out of state and is moving here for some other reason. Mm -hmm. That's fine with me. So we are making it required now? And everybody's in agreement it's required? I, well, I don't know that we are. I, 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 I'm just suggesting. I mean, what, so what I worked around was Article 13 of the town meeting warrant that the taxpayers and the citizens of this town voted for originally for a Department of Public Works. And it's right here in black and white. What is John? What's the requirement for an engineer well, license? Well, it, it's, yeah, it's a licensed sure. engineer. Yeah, okay. So there you have it. Well, there you go. Okay. By God, by the name of the people. All right. Um, so there was nothing about um, passing a priest. Well, I guess we can put not really the job description. Chain of command. Well, no, no. no uh, passing a medical and uh, physical requirements. Fitness. Screening? Yes. Yes. Fitness screening right here. Physical requirements. That's I think we should do that. Yes. I think we should do that with all employees in the town. Well, like for the, the police chief's position, there's a requirement that one, the, the finalist will then, you know, whoever winds up being the, the designated individual would then be required to go through a form, because it's subject to a favorable screening. Right. So for the police chief's job, it's um, physical and mental fitness for the position that you have done. Right. Um, I would think the DPW director is a key position I don't know if you need to do both. Um, okay. Certainly physical. Yeah, I don't want to know. Let me check DPW directors. <laughs> you know what? And you guys still argue with me, but <laughs> even with a background check in this day and age, you're not getting that everyone, information. No, on everyone. But a background that, check needs to be done. But do, is that the way we'll put in the, do we put that? Typically, yeah. is it in our job description, or do we have that in hiring requirements? Yeah, I think I think you put that in your hiring requirements. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a but, job description. Okay. But these are things that need to be addressed now. Yeah. So we're going to do. So we'll do a core a background. We'll do. A, yeah. We're telling they're going to definitely have to do a a physical, pass a physical. So because you want to tell them that at the point of application, with the drug so right. somebody can self. Screen. A Corey. Or everyone should be Corey. Yeah. Right. Works with the okay. town. With, with a drug and alcohol screen. Mm -hmm. Wow, give it, do the whole works. Yeah. And then, so, <laughs> the, and the quarry, he has to have a, uh, has to have a clean driving record. Mm -hmm. We don't say that anywhere. That's becoming a really popular thing in job descriptions, mm -hmm. or requirements for hiring. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I'm just rolling. Let's jump Keep in. going. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, and then physical. Screen. Physical screen. Corey, physical. Drug and alcohol test. Drug and alcohol. Drug Clean screen. driving record. Clean Drugs. driving record. I saw one advertisement that said they weren't going to hire people who smoked. We don't at the hospital. The hospital anymore. Yeah. yeah. You can't smoke anymore. You can't hire them. Only a few of us version. Perfect people that are fit. <laughs> Imagine that. So are we good to that? No, so, once you find them, you got to hire them. So is there anything else we want to try to add to the job, descri job description or add to the... No, got to have the licenses, right? That's already on. Yeah, the no water and wastewater yeah. license along with the engineering degree. Required by state and federal regulations. That's all I found from the article to the job description that was really different. Did it list out the licenses? Oh, uh, no, it doesn't in the job description. No, in the. No. No, but it, uh, it just says applicable or. I, I think, again, that's probably not in the. Um, 
just says other licenses require oh, state, state and federal regulations. regulations. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Do we need it, to? It doesn't specifically say what that is. Do we need to? Um, I'm just thinking about you know what's specific to Hadley's setup. Um, do we need to beef up any requirements specifically around the water? In water regards. treatment or any spe special licensure or well, knowledge? Well, the license is to operate the plant in case of an emergency and wastewater. If you start doing that, then you're going to start pushing yourself away yeah. from an engineer. That's right. Yeah. Right. It's like we're not going to get rid of North Hadley Hall with all the restrictions on it. That's the only thing I would caution you, because even the licensure boards are looking at engineers as being unworthy well, of water yeah, licenses. That's right. Yeah. Well, even as as you said, uh, if we give them a three-year contract, within a year, no, a year you get one license, the next year you get a second license. Yeah, a progressive type thing. So do so under, do we want to put that down and that we we will uh, expect. Yeah, I mean, all we have, hiring. All we have for other licenses is other licenses required for state. So, would we want to change that to say that within, during the course of your contract, we expect you to be licensed in the water and wastewater? We can. Why not? It's a I, word. I think it would. It also gives you an indication of who wants to sit and park and write something out versus somebody who's really wants the job and they're willing to further their own education to exactly and, yeah. and so at that point they have the best interest of the town at hand mm -hmm. and they will probably be staying here for for a long period of time so we're a t2 right oh yeah. T2, yeah. Uh, yeah and then we're a d d1 or d2 uh d1 i believe all right so and that's we're m4 on wastewater okay so do you have all those uh, I don't have an M. I don't have a wastewater license. I got a M4. He's a, he's a no. DPW oh. director. I'm asking him yeah. no, what no, he I has for licenses. Place. I have a D a D3 for wet water, and I have a D3 for a T3 for treatment and training. And then that's it. I haven't done a wastewater once. And how long have you been in your position? Long enough. Twelve years. <laughs> Twelve years. But you get a master's in public administration during um, that time frame, right? Yeah, it's yeah, it's a little different. But I mean, you. Yeah, but I, I, I mean, there's only two people, three people at the wastewater plant. Yeah, three. Yeah, how many do you have? Uh, Never mind. More than that. Yeah. Good. Right. What do you got? Five? I think there's five or six there. Mm -hmm. No, there's twelve. There's twelve. Oh. I got I got maintenance people too. There's maintenance people on the staff, and there's operators on the but staff. But you've got, yeah, but you're, our waste <coughs> is distribution and treatment. Yours is just treatment. Treatment and collection. It is. Yes. Dave, it's raising his hand. So to help the process along, do you want to take your uh, your job descriptions, write out your notes, bring them to me, I'll compile them, and we can present them at the next select board meeting? And uh, That's the easiest way. I think it would be. Yeah, that'd be great. I think okay. we've all, yeah. Um, one thing to know though is that your water licenses do take, you have a TU2, it takes two years before you can actually even get it. Yeah, you need uh, wastewater heat time too now. Yeah. Contact time. So. But wouldn't they be signing a multi year contract? Yes, but it does take two years. Okay. If they offer it. Okay, so then the next, con next discussion item is timing. And. So if we, March is when we, he retires in March. March 29th. 29th. I think once you get an agreement on the job description. Should advertise. Then you they start what? advertising and then we need to form the search committee. Right. That's the next question. All right. So then we'll meet, so we'll, we'll finalize the job description on our, on the 20, meeting of the 21st. Yep. And then um, we'll advertise it. So we'll advertise it for 30 days. Yep. We'll get things back on the 20, on uh, February 21st. Mm -hmm. And then we need to discuss how we set up the screening committee. Mm -hmm. Well, we can do that while the while yeah. while we're advertising. We can discuss the setup. Correct. And then once you get.
compile all the potential candidates, you should have the committee ready to go because potentially whoever is applying for the job, potentially whoever you're hiring might already have a job that they got to give 30 days notice. So we may not see anybody until July 1st. Right, yeah. right. Okay. So I think that's the way. Sounds like a good process. I think that's the timeline. Right. So one or two people from the select board on the committee? Probably two. So How many we got on the police committee? Two. Two. We had two. two on the fire. Two, two, two. We've gone two right okay. along. Mm -hmm. We can go more. And I'd like to see one water personnel, one wastewater personnel, and one highway personnel. On that Should be somebody from each department. So yes, the same absolutely. Thing. We have police officers. <coughs> right. we you want one? employees or superintendents? Doesn't matter. So, so we put two officers on a police committee. So you should yeah. at least put one from each department on okay. the DPW committee. So we'll put out a request to the public works. Union, whoever's interested, are going into yeah. four or one, yeah. and then do we want people from outside mm -hmm. involved? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's good to get a different perspective. Absolutely. Do we want? And I think you're, you're going to have enough people interested in that again after the first round. So, mm -hmm. so we want to ask local uh, local DPW directors if they want to, which you're really kind of yeah. Be, your hamstring is so. Well, it'd be East Hampton. Well, he lived here. Joe was on the last committee. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have Northampton. Maybe we could probably find some. South Hadley. Joe may be interested in getting South Hadley. Yeah. South Hadley. Joe loves a public district. He might be interested in yeah. No, 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 too. He might be interested in a job. Who knows? No, he's making too much money. Okay, so we're going to ask for we're going to ask for some people on the outside. Yeah, mm -hmm. who have DPW experience. Mm -hmm. So now we're up to seven. Seven people. That's plenty. That's what you got now, right? Right. And, Please. And then do you want any uh, residential town residents? That's the next question. This is the question. That's not. I think I think the point. public had a, had sufficient input into the police study committee, haven't they? Well, they were well, all people. They're on the committee. They're on the committee, but they were. That live here. They live here with a police, um, background. police background of some kind. Mm -hmm. so so I, don't, I don't know how many of you all there are. There's you actually a bunch of us all around. Are there? There's a lot. Yeah, of in maybe. That field around. There's a there's more than you think. Yeah. There's a whole bunch living in this little town. They keep quiet. Yeah. Themselves. So that'd be a question. Do we want that type of kind of in a large seat? For, although now we went from seven to eight. So you, don't you don't want to be round. Yeah. You don't want to be round. So it would be two more. Yeah, it'd be two more. Nine. That's think, big. I think as long as the committee's announced, the public will, will be able to contact them at any time if they got any concerns. They got two select board members they can contact. Yeah. yeah. I think we go with that. Go with. Two board members, three union or non union, DPW personnel, it could be non union, yeah. and then two people that are in the field. Whether they're residents or Whether not. Whether they're residents or not. Right. That would right. be the way to do it. Okay. Right. Yep. And the direction of this committee would be to bring three candidates or five candidates to the select board. Three to five. Same, three. same as what the right. direction mm -hmm. to the police was. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sounds good to me. All right, so that's our preliminary. So yeah. we're going to take the job description home, mm -hmm. make Mark. notes on it, get the Mr. Send Nixon, yeah. think about the committee we just kind of sketched out. Yeah. We'll confirm okay. all down on the 21st. Um, advertising schedule is kind of there. We know we probably won't make the, we'll have a time period where we have no director. But we'll have a chain of command of stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think we'll take a select board <laughs> person and put them in as a liaison. <laughs> I guess like we got person. one though. We got one. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't. Have you been there since we put you on that? Oh yeah. I met the spot. I met. I met with the director Jeez, I don't know, multiple times. Every day. I don't see you down okay. there. He's not going to be a select board member for much longer. No, I'm not. Have you announced it yet? You're not going to no. run. 
Come on, let's hear the announcement. Well, everybody in town knows it's rumored that I am not right re -run. running for re-election. Right. Can you write for anything it's else? It's been good work. I might. Mr. I'm, West. I'm debating. I'm <laughs> debating running for another position. So okay, so let's <laughs> let's back up a little bit. <clears throat> so that leaves t only really two people to sit on the public works committee screening committee. There you go. Right now, potentially you only have before one. The election. You only have one. Well, yeah, two. Just to think about it. <laughs> Why? Because you guys have to recuse yourselves. I think I might get a little. I think I might. If the, the job description or the job may be interested in people that I work with, so right. I may end up. Conflict of interest. Yeah. Joyce, this is like the gift that keeps on giving for us, isn't it? <laughs> well, the only other thing is if the person who's elected to replace Brian wants it. Right, and then Joyce is up for re-election. Right. Yes. So. so it could change. Um, so the question is, I mean, we'll probably have things started by the bit. We're, we're going to start before the election. Right. The election is March. Right. 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 March twenty. April. 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 Sorry. Oh, why did I say March? You should be in, we, we should be interviewing people we'll be, yeah, before so the election. The committee's got to be put together. So, you could still so I could still be on it. In, in 12, so you, the three of you need to decide okay. among yourselves. All right. mm -hmm. So then that kind of leaves, as we talk about what things need to be done. Um, well, we got two committees that you're going to need to set up. Right? Well, three actually. Because yeah. we're right. going to have to think about what to do about joint, I mean, capital planning. Because capital planning will start talking a little bit here soon, won't they? Yeah. So it'll have to be a person on capital planning, and then we need one person to go off with this finance, the finance group. Mm -hmm. And then there's the issue that we're going to talk about in the executive session, too. Yes. Yes. Which is who's going to be the two representatives from um, the select board for negotiations. Right. There's a lot going on. Yeah. We're moving and shaking this world. There's a lot, a lot of movement going on. You know, just 34 years of observing down there. I know Guilford, after 34 years of observing down at the DPW, you have Hopefully to Hopefully working and not observing. Well, I do both. <laughs> so, anyway, you have two superintendents that ran a place for 30 plus years. I don't see why we can without a DPW director for a couple of months now. Oh, we're, no, we we're we're past that. in, you know, after July or August or whatever, right. whatever we decide. I think we know we're going to be without a director for a few months. Yeah. <clears throat> we're, we're in good hands. Unless we find somebody that's not got a job. Right. And they real quickly. So then, All right, so let's move on here. We're, yeah. we're so dilly-dallying. We're kind of, but we're not. So we need to think. You're gonna miss this place. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we need to think about that. There, there's all those things that we, we little extra duties we have to take on here shortly. Um, and who would be willing to do what? And who? So. All right.